Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to look at the new iOS 11 file app. This is a great new app, something that people have been asking for a long time. Essentially, it's a file browser. We're gonna log into our phone right now and go through how it works and what the features are. So here we are for the new file app. So you'll see that on my top left corner there, I've got a new icon called files. I can just go ahead and open that up. And I'm now presented with a browse area where I can actually go and navigate and control files on my device. So this is very similar to the Finder on your Mac or even similar to Windows Explorer on a Windows computer. So I can easily go into my iCloud Drive and actually see my file straight from here. I can go in, see my particular documents, my numbers, any other sort of things that I've got straight in there. I can select, click on what I want, delete them, etc., etc. very, very easily, all right? I can swipe to delete straight from my area just here. As you just saw, I can scroll from the bottom down, from the top down, sorry. I can sort by name. I can also click on this icon on the top right corner and I can change the view from thumbnail to a list view. And on the back, on the left side, we've got a new folder option. I can create a new folder, done. And that has now created a new test folder straight within my iCloud Drive, navigating from my file application. Back to the main area here, I can add other features such as Dropbox. So I can click on the edit, I can turn Dropbox off, and that's now disappeared. I can click on the edit, turn Dropbox on, and that is on there. If I've got the Dropbox app set up, I can go straight into Dropbox. I've got another app, USB Disk Pro. I've also got on my iPhone, where I can literally from my iPhone directly, I can actually create files or save files directly that are stored on my iPhone. You've got areas such as favorites, and then I've got a number of different tags if I want to tag particular things. This is a great, great new feature. Uh, it's something that people have been asking for for a long time. There's some sort of file browser for their iOS device, and it's finally here. I've got recents to see essentially recent things that I've just been doing. So here's another great thing that I can do from any single application, is I can now click on the bottom left-hand corner, you know, the icon there with the arrow up, and I've now got an option to save to files. You'll see that on the bottom left-hand corner. So I can literally select something, go to save to file. It's gonna ask me, where do I want to put it? I can put it into my on my iPhone or into my iCloud. So I'm gonna place it into my iCloud. I'm gonna put it into the test folder that we created and say add. So now I can go back into files, go into my iCloud drive, go into test, and there is my photo that I have just saved. So this lets you easily save files and navigate them and, and you know do a full file browser directly from your iOS 11 device. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.